Ori and Ku got separated, and also the pedal is missing somewhere. This is really bad. Oh look, it's... I don't know. They don't look similar to Ori, but kinda? What do you say? I mean, Ori is a different species totally, but they look same in some ways, at least. Well, and so our game begins now. And uh, like I did in a, in a, on my stream, I first head to the left. And uh, here we get our first enemy that can just attack us, but I will just avoid it. And also here we have the bombie thing to collect some stuff. And uh, there is a lock that breaks, so be careful, because you will then uh, fall and get to the top all over again. Uh, I didn't expect it the first time, but since I now know, this is great. And I can avoid it from the, even from the first. Uh, with the uh, While we're climbing on this thing, we can uh, switch the sides, uh, climb up and uh, slide down, and also we can uh, jump jump to the top to climb faster. This is a really great thing. This is really attention to details. Here we have a rock that we can uh, just pull away to get our life uh, essence. Uh, and we need to get two of those to get uh, extra life, unlike, in, unlike uh, the previous game. Uh, here we have a pass. Uh, since I played the previous game, I already know how uh, the way we can pass uh, this gap. But we don't have an ability yet to move through this. If you play the blind forest, then you know uh, which ability it is. Then we move to the right, and uh, I will take uh, as much secret as far as I can get. So small light container. It's uh, a spirit light. Since the spirit light is a currency in this game, unlike in previous game where it was sort of experience bar but in this game it is a, a currency uh, I cannot move there and the lock right uh, broken and I see there is a secret right here because uh, you can um, see if there is a secret by just looking uh, carefully on the on the environment because I saw the glowy thingy uh, in the cave so I moved towards it now we got the torch and the torch in this game it's int introduction to the basic uh, combat. Uh, so, in the previous game we got a uh, zero. I guess this is what uh, what the whips uh, get called in the previous game. And the zero was our just uh, previous game. Uh, I had pretty mm, pretty basic combat system, but in this game is so much fun, uh, more fun to play. We have a torch. Uh, which can do the basic four combo attack and also we can uh, press up and uh, oh no we cannot uh, do it with the torch okay but with the torch we also can do the same uh, combat combos in the air and also if uh, with the torch if you will press up in the air you will constantly, constantly do this uppercut thingy which is quite useful because you can actually glide using it if you press up and to the side, you can glide with it. Which is probably can be abused by the speedrunners in some way, but I don't see any moments to abuse right now. And here, and here in this game, we have NPCs to talk with. So this island is called Nivan, I guess. I'm not sure. Alright, so and this, uh, in this game, we also have a questing system. So... And this is really uh, advancing this game a lot. So we also have a better map, which uh, shows us where the quest is. Uh, a lot of different quests, and we already see some collectibles in this game uh, on the map. We also can uh, press details to see what is it, which is really cool. Also we have separate, uh, different types, we have this, which is a map obviously. We have spare charts, which will be some 
enhancers, which I will talk about later once we have uh, found some. And we have an uh, inventory, which is not quite sure how it works, but it shows us our, our some uh, collectibles that we got. And that is great. So, and I don't know, I will head over here for now. By the way, in this game, uh, we don't have a save, like in the, uh, the way in the previous game we could save manually. It only ca uh, does it works automatically. And this is our kind of first boss fight, I would say. Okay, now we're talking. Much better. And now, uh, here we're gonna say goodbye to our torch because of the water. And we got a new mechanic, which is this blue moss, which we can climb on and uh, even if it's not a vertical wall. You can freely climb up and down. This is kind of neat. I guess it uh, will be used later sometime, but I don't know. And so we got the keystone, which was the quest we needed. Now we can talk back to talk. Interesting, we can talk to the talk. Also, I probably should have uh, not used my torch. Oh no, never mind. It's yeah, I should have. I should break. I should have used my torch to break this stuff because you know you see the glow. This is where the collectible is. And is it shown on the map? It is shown on the map, but it's not a, an actual secret. So he gives us the second keystone. We got the first one uh, from the cave and he just gifted us the second one in order to continue to let us pass. Oh, hello wolfy guy. Now we can insert the keystones. In the previous game we used to insert these stones using Sane, but in this game we have to do it manually because we no longer have Sane. Uh, and I, I'm not sure what we can find in this water. Probably nothing special. Hmm? Oh, hello wolf guy from the trailer. Now I have to run. Ouch. I guess that this is a scripted damage to take because I cannot avoid it really. Ow. And this is a scripted one as well. And now we have our torch back. You know, this is a really basic boss fight, but here we go. I will use the uh, upper attack so mostly. Or I will just use the combo. Every time he runs towards you, you just do the two attacks and he backs off. Pretty simple for the first boss fight, but I also need to keep my distance. Because I got randomly hit two times. And we get rid of Torch once again. Why? I have no idea. But, ha but we have to move forward. And this is not a secret. Go here. We cannot uh, path to the left right now. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Hmm. And here we got the weird looking tree. Which you may think of uh, is the some uh, sort of tree that gives you some power up, and you will not be wrong. And we just Even those guys look sad. It's really... Uh, it's really heartbreaking. I don't know. This feels uh, actually a little bit sad. Hello there.
So now we have the actual ability to fight. Uh, and I, I will show you. The sack. So, Ancient Tree stores uh, power ups, permanent power ups uh, for our character. And uh, now we have a sword, but in order to obtain it, we need to pull the uh, left trigger and choose this. Uh, choose which power ups of uh, all of the, the entire circle. And uh, choose the button we can assign to. Uh, it's either X, Y, and B on the Xbox controller, or since I'm using DualShock, for me it's like square, triangle, and, and uh, circle. So I, I like uh, my sword attacks on the X because it's we, I just can. And now we have a sword with the four combo attacks, or is it five? Yeah, five combo attacks. Uh, also, we can uh, press, uh, we can lie and do one attack, crouching. We also ca uh, can uh, look to uh, up and uh, make an uppercut. Which brings us airborne. Also, there is uh, some combo moves in the, uh, I mean, some air. Uh, so it's the basic combo in the air, it's the uppercut in the air, and it's a down attack in the air. Down attack in the air, if you hit something, uh, it uh, bumps you up like this. Yeah. Not the best idea to move, attack this. Energy orbs, which we cannot really use right now. And the combat system is this game it's much more complicated. And this is this is actually cool. And also we have uh, this thing which is uh, this sh the shard. Yes, this is a spirit shard. Uh the spirit shard uh, this is the magnet one which uh, just attracts uh, collectibles. We can uh, like I said this is the sh spirit shards and we can we can equip the different shards, up to three right now. It, uh, this amount can be cr increased. We can equip magnet. And this way it's now only will be active. And now we will be able to to track things. So there is a lot of different uh, uh, spirit shards. And the spirit shards is the addition to the our abilities. It's not the abilities itself. So we, we cannot like just uh, not be able to solve the puzzle because we need a spirit chart for that. I don't think so. Spirit charts only makes our life a little bit easier like it was in the first game but we needed to level up certain tree. In this game this, uh, there is there are spirit charts. And so, our first global quest is to find uh, Walk. And, we, and if you will notice, there is also a reward for those kind of things, which is really sweet. 